Okay, good Sunday morning everybody, uh, May 15th, dad was here with uh, the 2470 and the dish chisel, filled it up with fuel and he's heading over to Woodville where I went over there and cut in the outskirts of them fields with the disc and uh, it didn't rain over there last night, I thought it did but evidently it went north of there and uh, I'm getting in the 235 with the Turbo Max and I'm heading back to Dad's and I'm gonna go through that oil well field and knock that down, cut that stuff up. And uh, then I'm gonna go across the road and finish what me and Nathan were doing, that uh, wheat stubble that's going to corn. And uh, Then I'll probably have to go back over and hit that oil well field again after it airs out a little bit. So that's the plan. So we'll see what happens.
hope them views come out. Ooh, dust. Uh, it's pretty rough, first time across. I'm gonna finish working this, then I'm going back across the road into that weed stuff, we'll finish that. Then I'm gonna come back over here and hit this fast. Let this air off a little bit. And uh, hopefully we can bust these clouds up a little bit better. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed that mod. Now he runs away. No ruckus, you can't go. He was standing in the steps parking. Now you gotta go see what the brother's doing. Anyway, the field across the road from Dad's was too wet. I pulled up into the yard by the shed at his house. We got the grease gun out and greased that monster. I'm telling you, there's 50 grease certs on that thing. There's a bunch. It takes an hour to grease that. Huh. Little dust devil, you guys probably can't see it, but dust devil just rolling through here. So he went over to Woodville where I did the plowing on the notch field, and he made one pass through there and he says it's too wet. He says we're just gonna no till the corn in there, so I'm gonna go over there with this and work down around the outside where I plowed it, the edges, and that pass that he did. And if it's cracking up like it was over at his place yesterday because they didn't get the rain, I'm going to go across that whole field once just to loosen it up. And uh, so we'll see when we get over there. Okay, I got the corner field done. And I did the headlands along the bank barn field over there just to work out the ruts from, not the ruts, but the tracks. There were a little bit of ruts from where the combine was unloading all the time. And now we're back here in field number 25. We call it the notch field. And look, look who I got with me. Found a couple of youngins. My little blue-eyed princess. Say hi, Nova. Hi. And Mr. Bentley. Hi. He was riding his four-wheeler and drops, jumped off of it. And he didn't even shut it off because he was so excited to come and take a ride with me. I told him to go shut it off. But anyway, we got one pass through here. Dad did this morning with the disc chisel. And he said it was too wet. So we're just going across here, knocking it down and uh, flattening her out. I went around the field already where I plowed it yesterday. And then we're gonna set it an angle and sail across this thing about eight mile an hour, just like we did the other field and crack it open and incorporate some of this manure that's laying here. Kids rode with me. We finished up that notch field, number 25. So I got everything cleaned off, pinned up, and heading back to Dad's. Run across that oil well field one more time. Get them clods broke up in them wet spots. Hopefully they'll bust up now that they've baked in the sun for a few hours. And uh, after that, it'll be about time to to work probably so Sunday night fun night yippee so uh, I'll see you when we get over there <laughs> the one constant around here is change so I'm coming home heading over to dad's I come by the house the barn doors are open it's like I knew I closed them well dad was in here he was tinkering around he greased the planter and he greased the grain drill. So I pulled in to see what was going on. That's when he told me what he was doing. And uh, me and him got this auger put back in. That auger that I worked on over the winter that was laid there next to that one. There's the old brush auger. But we got that put in there. It turned out to be a little more than, well, let me just say I'm glad he was here to help. But we got it. So uh, got all the tools picked up. Got everything greased. All we gotta do is put the tubes on it. But uh, it's 20 after six. So they're calling for rain tomorrow. So we're gonna, we're gonna call it good for now. Dad says, you better go in there, take a shower and take a nap. I'm not gonna argue, cause I'm tired. So, uh, 
uh, we'll see what the weather's doing tomorrow. I said, all right. So I'm gonna head in the house and uh, take a shower and try and lay down. Every time I walk through here, I find glass. Take a shower and try to catch a nap before I go into work tonight. That way, if it doesn't rain, I can do some stuff in the morning. It won't be like a zombie. But uh, a lot of people, a lot of people moving dirt around here now. A lot of the, a lot of the heavy dirt though is nobody's touching that yet. The sand is, the sand and the lighter dirt's ready to go. But this old Napanee, Napanee and Hoytville clay, it's not giving up its water yet. So, so yeah, so got to get the sprayer hooked up. Never did do that. So we'll get that sprayer hooked up and get some beans, bean ground sprayed. But anyway, I'm going to call it quits for tonight. I'm going to, like I said, take a shower. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody.